Hi, today we are providing home staging tips with local home stager Wea from Engaging Spaces. We will talk about staging with what you already have and staging with empty spaces. Let's dive in. From engaging spaces so quickly if this is your first time watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any other informative videos like this one so Leah tell us about yourself and what got you into the business and my husband and I flipped our first house I staged that one and it sold as well and a friend came walking into the house and said Leah we need to start a staging business I agreed I knew I this was something that I could do so I went and I got training and got my certificate for staging and the rest is history. Oh, awesome. So you're a professional stager. Yep. Uh, what is a professional stager? Like what, what are those services? Yeah, so professional home staging is really in its short, a short <laughs> sentence, it's preparing your home for the real estate marketplace. Professional staging uh, sells your home more swiftly and for top dollar. Awesome. Um, okay, so that's definitely a benefit for staging. What are other benefits for staging? Yeah, so the benefits of home staging really, really is that your home wouldn't sit languishing on the market. Um, it sells a lifestyle. People buy homes based on emotion. How do, how do I want to live? So home staging creates that atmosphere, thereby making your home sell more swiftly and again for top dollar because it's not going to be sitting on the market for a long time. So that sounds really beneficial in a buyer's market. Absolutely. Um, should people only consider home staging in a buyer's market or should they also consider it in a seller's market? Yeah, absolutely not. Um, home staging, of course, is very beneficial in a buyer's market. In this buyer's market, it makes the home stand out amongst the competition online for sure. But in a seller's market, it is about marketing, marketing the home so that it reaches its top dollar. Um, you do not want to leave money on the table, even in a seller's market. When you improve upon a product, you increase its value and that's really what home staging does. Okay, awesome. Um, so are there different types of staging? Yeah, so there's two different types. I put it in two categories. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's vacant home staging and then there's occupied home staging. Mm -hmm. So vacant home staging is when the professional home stager comes in and they bring all those gorgeous pieces of furniture, the perfect artwork, and they arrange it to make it look like a show home. And that is usually what I find most people think that home staging is. Right. It's setting up that beautiful, beautiful home. Um, but by far, most of us sell occupied homes. And so the other type of staging is occupied home staging. That is where the client, the seller, is living in their home. Um, that's also very important to stage those homes. So uh, what service packages do you offer for each types of staging? Yeah, for sure. So of course I offer the full vacant home stage. I bring in all the furniture, all those pretty accessories. Um, and then I also offer um, occupied home staging consultations. This is where I come in, meet with the seller, and we go through a 10-page report. It's quite detailed. We go through every room of the house, um, starting at the curb, actually. We know that curb appeal is number one. And we go through the house, and I give them everything that they need in order to sell their home and to stage it themselves. I give them all the tips, the tricks. I give them everything that they need to know. Um, possibly recommended purchases for a piece or two but first and foremost by using what they already have. And then another package I offer is a consultation and then help. Many people, they just want help in getting their home ready for the market. Mm -hmm. And of course, I love to do that as well. Okay. What other tips do you have? Give us your five tips for selling. Sure, I love, I love these tips and they're by far my first five. So of course, I probably have 20, but I will <laughs> focus on the first five, number one, you really need to disassociate yourself from your home. You need to take a step back 
and look at your home as a product, not your precious house that you made many wonderful memories in, but actually as a product that you need to invest a little time, a little sweat equity in to get it ready for the market. The second tip I would give is commit to the process, commit to rolling up your sleeves and making your house look good. It is going to pay off big time in the end, so just commit to doing it and doing it well. The third tip I would give is to make those small repairs that need to be made. Only lowball investors like to pay for houses that need repairs, so get those done right away. The fourth tip I would give is to declutter. This one, most everyone knows. I've got to clean things out. I've got to clean drawers out. I've got to clean toys out. So yes, that is also on my top Oh, so you five. don't just take the stuff and put it in the drawers? You have to take stuff no out Jen, of the drawers? No, Jen. No, <laughs> Jen. You've got to clean up. It is a good job. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, definitely declutter. Um, another little tip in that decluttering is any accessories that are over four years old, and smaller than the size of a baseball, the size of your fist, you want to pack away or get rid of. Again, we're looking for a lifestyle that potential buyers aspire to, so we need new things in the home. So right. declutter everything, and don't forget the fridge. Take off all those cute little pictures. <laughs> and number five, for sure, is the smell. This is a big one for most potential buyers, so there can be no strong odors um, unplug that glade that tries to mask those scents. No smoke, no pet odors. You just want that really fresh, bright, clean smell. So yes, clean goes with smell. <laughs> Make sure you clean. Dust. But yes. Dust. And dust. Yeah. Yes. And on the smell note, get a second opinion. Don't be offended. Don't be offended. But you need a second opinion. When they come into your home, what do they smell? It's so. true what they say on those Febreze commercials that you can become nose blind to the smells in your own home. Yes. <laughs> and on that note, you can also become clutter blind and a bunch of other <laughs> things blind. So. Well, those are great yes. tips. Yes. Um, thank you for taking the time to educate us on home staging. I appreciate it. I have learned a lot here with you today. Awesome. And um, I hope that everybody watching has also found this beneficial. So how can people reach you if they wanted to engage you in their services? Yes, I would love to reach out with you and help you sell your home. You can reach me by phone. I also love text and email as well. And all those can be found on my website. I also have a Facebook account and an Instagram account so you can follow me and see my info there. Awesome. I'll also put all that information on in the description to this video below. So if you're looking to sell, I work with Leah and I offer the first package that she has where she comes in and does the home staging for an occupied home. Um, so that's part of my package and it's no cost to you. Well, thanks for watching this episode on home staging tips. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And remember, if you're looking at buying or selling or know anyone that's looking at buying or selling, you can reach out to me by phone or text or email. All my information is also below. Thanks, bye.